Okay, so since the government announced the illegal uh, migration bill, and of course we know uh, the British voters want to see uh, action being taken, tough action taken to stop the boats, we've seen the usual types absolutely uh, flip out and go nuts uh, over this. Uh, by the way, I don't think the illegal migration bill goes far enough in that we're still not leaving ECHR. But regardless, you've seen, for instance, the uh, UN go absolutely bonkers uh, over this. Don't actually ever recall the UN as any statements out vaguely in support ever of stronger border controls. Let me know if you have uh, in the comments below. You've even got some uh, lefty media with some front pages like this. That Sunak's small boats bill risks Brexit peace with Europe, and that Sunak is facing a clash with the EU. Now, I just want to highlight early on in this video because this is the point the mainstream media try and ignore what voters actually think about the situation when it comes to illegal migration. The fact that many more Brits support, for instance, banning those who come to the UK in small boats from ever re-entering the UK, being able to settle permanently in the UK and receiving British citizenship. Many more Brits support that sort of ban than oppose it. And specifically on the ECHR, a number of polls we've seen recently show more voters in this country now in favour of leaving ECHR than remaining. So that is where voters in this country, the people of this country stand. And yet you've got this situation where the European Union are now telling the UK, telling the British government that this illegal migration bill could violate international law. And you've got an EU commissioner there uh, speaking to Sir Willa Braveman, a quote is saying, I spoke to the British minister yesterday on this and I told her, I think that this is violating international law. I mean, what on earth this has to do uh, with the European Union, I have no idea. Almost still acting as if they think, you know, the UK is still in the EU and we take orders from Brussels. You've got uh, Suella Braveman pushing back against that intervention herself, saying we are no longer members of the EU, and so we are free to determine our own borders and migration policy. And we believe, she says, our measures to be lawful, proper, necessary, compassionate, and the fair thing to do. And that's why we're moving forward with them. So some pretty predictable, but quite astonishing, uh, nonetheless, interventions we've seen there from the likes of the UN and the EU. The real test here is going to be, uh, are Suella Braveman and Rishi Sunak willing to do whatever it takes to stop the boats, as the majority of Brits uh, want to see, or are they going to U-turn, are they going to buckle? Let me know your thoughts on all of that, guys, and in this EU intervention on British policy. As ever, I will keep bringing you the very latest on this and more, so please do like this video, a quick thumbs up, and of course, as ever, cheers for watching.